breaking news. Hey, my wonderful people, you will hear what you never thought about. Sanusi, the dethroned emir, okay? The dethroned emir has come up now to tell Nigerians the identities of those who are behind Bokos. The identity of those who are sponsoring them and who want the North destroyed. You know, the uh, former deputy CBN governor who has gone to be with his maker now told Nigerians that a serving Northern governor is the leader, okay, helping them to purchase ammunition and the rest. A serving Northern governor is the one who is aiding, supporting whatever is going on right now, you know, mm -hmm. in the North and this whole insecurity. And Sanusi, after such a long time, has come up now to tell Nigerians the true identity of these very persons. You'll be shocked. You'll be sincerely shocked. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. In security, Sanusi reveals the identities of those behind Bukharam, bandit, killer headsmen in Nigeria, as Nigerians react in despair. Former Emir of Kano, Mohammed Sanusi has blamed the high spark of insecurity on civil servants. Governors, senators, House of Rep members, these are the people who have been aiding and supporting this wickedness in our land. Sanusi said, Bukharam bandits and activities of killer headsmen have been on increase due to corruption perpetrated by these civil servants. He accused them of stealing millions and billions of naira meant for road construction, education, provision of power, food, water and transportation in the country. The former Central Bank of Nigeria CBN governor, speaking at the closing ceremony of the AIG Public Leadership Program class of the 2021 in Abuja yesterday, according to Sanusi, today you see civil servants stealing millions and billions of naira meant to build our roads, provide power, water, education, food, transportation, infrastructure, and majority of Nigerians' goods are being wallowed away by these few individuals, selfish. All of these have given birth to the Boko Haram, killer headsmen, bandits, numerous armed smugglings, especially among the youth, which results in the worst threat to humanity in today's day and age we live now in nigeria the level of insecurity in nigeria continues to rise with the activities of the bokos and the bandits in the north nigeria is no longer safe unless these civil servants from the presidency to the governors to local government chairman all around the cadres of leadership come back to the reality that they all have a part to play to bring back Nigeria to its original position so that we can come out of the current predicament we are finding ourselves. The country currently right now is suffering. A lot is going on because of selfish individuals who steal what belongs to the whole nation. This is why Nigeria is the way it is today. So that is the former governor of Kanu State. And uh, this man has blamed Good Luck Ibele Jonathan. He has blamed Ganduje, the dollar man, you know, what they did to him, that um, these people facilitated him being seen out of office. It was intentional, according to him, because he was speaking against such things. Okay, he continued to condemn and to tell everyone that these things going on were wrong. And the whole activities of stealing money that belongs to the whole country by some few individuals. You know, he was a central bank president uh, or governor. And so he could see those things, the money that was passing by being signed out. And he was wondering, sincerely speaking, how come an individual is signing this kind of thing out and nobody is paying attention to what is going on? The guy began to cry out. However... His crying out, according to him, was a noise to some people who saw him as saying, what's wrong with this one? If you want to take your own, take your own now. How come you did disturb everybody? And according to him, that was part and parcel of the reason why he was shown the exit. 
He was not only shown the exit as the governor of uh, Central Bank. He was also shown the exit as the emir where he was dethroned. And you know what, my people? He was not just dethroned. He was banished to a little village in Nasarawa. Okay? Thank God for his friend, Erufai, who brought him back to see the light. Part of some of the things he began to speak about and to condemn in, in, in Kano State was, you know, uh, uh, child marriage, a marriage system of education. He began to condemn with strong voice things that were going on that were not right or acceptable. He began to say, your own children are schooling in England. Your own children are schooling in America. Your own children are doing well. Why do you allow this other? Why do you want to keep these other ones perpetually down beneath you and ever serving you? You, you were not given opportunity to dominate others. So no, the dominion mandate was on fishes, birds of the air, things that creepeth upon the ground, not to lord it over another man. In fact, when you, began to, when you begin to do those things, it's called manipulation and witchcraft. It's not the right thing to do. You are to be a, a leader over people. And a leader, if you go and look for the true definition of a leader, is servanthood. Somebody who puts himself down to serve. In the same vein, you are not proud, but you are tenacious. You know what to do. You know how to make decisions. You know what, when, when to say no. You know when to take a stand. You know when to be firm. You know when to be soft. So you are not, I mean, it's a balance. It is really and sincerely a balance. So this is what it is. Not some persons coming to lord themselves, march themselves over the other person and tell them, you have no voice, you cannot do this. You can. If I don't say so, you cannot move. You are a subordinate. I am the uh, almighty. No, no, no. The name almighty belongs to only one. Mm, it's only God that has that name. It's not a man's name. So these are some of the things that have happened. And uh, the guy is letting us know that things have gone on. Uh, and the reason why, you know, there is insecurity and things are the way they are, is the decisions of Nigerians, okay? Nigerians who have been given opportunity to serve. But guess what? Most of those people have come with their own, you know, with their own agenda and have been wicked, okay? And have not dispensed out the true meaning of service to the people. Rather, they've done other things that are not right. That when you hear about it, even your ears will tingle, you know? This is what is going on. And this is what has given rise to insecurity, the full and headsmen, and what have you, all that have been going on. This is the reason. Yeah? So, my people, now, so the matter reach you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.